Data cannot give meaning to life. Data cannot be an answer. Data cannot be a substitute. Data cannot obviate the need for politics. Data cannot solve all of our problems. So data cannot solve our problems. Um, I, I mean, I, I have an inchoate sense that I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to articulate convincingly. It is up to us to use the information that we have to try and address the challenges that we see ahead of us. Uh, I personally don't ascribe to any sort of technocratic utopian future where we can use data to solve all problems because fundamentally it's another tool to help us make better decisions. And using facts and using evidence to help inform our decisions will hopefully make us help, help us make better decisions. And I think one of the dangers of, um, that we're going to face moving into a world in where we're, we're sensing cities from multiple vantage points, excruciating levels of detail, um, and then trying to make sense of that, is that we'll fool ourselves into thinking that we're in control. Los datos no pueden ser verdad. Los datos no pueden explicar el factor humano. Los datos por sí solos nunca van a poder sustituir la intuición humana. Los datos no pueden saber de quién me voy a enamorar. Los datos son los que son, son objetivos, son medibles, son cuantificables, ¿no? Y eso precisamente dota de gran valor, los dota de gran valor para el mercado, para lo que es el, el, el capital, ¿no? Sin embargo, eh, humanamente son resulta bastante pobre. Y todo lo que hacemos no tiene una lógica. Hay un, hay un, uh, un gran ejemplo con Google Maps. ¿no? Si, si te fías de Google Maps para montar tus, uh, tus paseos, siempre irás a los mismos sitios. Pero Google Maps lo que hace es coger lo que ya has hecho y te monta patrones en base a lo que ya has hecho. Con lo cual se basa en, esta, en este principio de la repetición y de la rutina, cuando nuestros, nuestras vidas no se basan en la repetición y en la, y en la rutina. Y además nuestras decisiones no siempre son lógicas y, y racionales. Tenemos que darnos cuenta de que influye mucho cómo se recaba la información, de que a veces los datos se recaban de manera medio engañosa, con lo cual no hay que mirarlos eh, eh, como si nos fiáramos, como si fueran dioses. Eh, hay una máxima y es, los datos no pueden darnos toda la verdad. Los datos pueden saber de quién me he enamorado antes, pero no de quién voy a enamorarme. Es decir, al final hay muchos trade-offs, hay muchos equilibrios que tenemos que hacer y, y hay decisiones que deben ser políticas, que son cualitativas y que están basadas en los valores y los deseos de la gente. Eventually, the more data you gather, the more, uh, the stronger the illusion that you can transcend the political and move to the numerical and move to the technocratic becomes. I think we have to resist that temptation. Uh, the more data you have, uh, the more politics you need. I think that's the relationship that we have to understand, that data structures do not develop, they do not emerge according to their own logic, they emerge according to the kind of simplifications made by political, social and economic actors. And we have to understand how those simplifications are made and we have to occasionally uh, do something to <laughs> change those simplifications, right? And to add complexity, reinscribe complexity, reinscribe the interests of people affected by those simplifications. Uh, this, this should be simpler, it should be simpler. The first part was okay, yeah? About the data, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and I think the greatest mistake we can make is to precisely assume that we can actually leave the old, messy, noisy, uh, deliberative world of politics behind and focus on this clean, data-driven, uh, supposedly macro-level view that we get from collecting more and more data. I think that's the ultimate utopia and the ultimate conceit of quantification. Los datos son solo otra fuente de información que uno puede usar para contrastar la realidad, para hallar esa realidad, para desvelar la realidad que se oculta por detrás de la complejidad. Pero por sí solos no valen para nada, es decir, uno tiene enfrente millones de números, no importa la cantidad de números que uno tenga enfrente de, enfrente de sí mismo, si uno no tiene un método y si uno no sabe qué preguntas se le tiene que, pregun se le tiene que preguntar a esos datos, pues uno nunca, vaya, uno va nunca va a encontrar las respuestas. Muchas veces más datos generan ruido, es decir, no necesitamos tantos datos, lo que necesitamos son los datos correctos. Y ahí me gustaría ver más eh, análisis de datos basados en el problema y no basados en los datos. Data cannot be a substitute for going out to the street and having good dialogue with people, because the data itself will only be partial and it will measure, you will measure and you will get what you measure, what you're looking for, and you'll optimize what you measure. And that might not be the, re the real thing. Data cannot be an answer. It can't even be part of the question as far as I'm concerned. 
Um, in a sense, it is only a byproduct of asking questions, of trying to make sense. And so, um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, data cannot in itself help us make any kind of decision that's useful. Data can have something to add, but it will be just a small part. Data cannot give meaning to life. You know, it, it can produce insight, it can produce value, but it can't lend meaning. I think we're very much um, going to be in a world where um, uh, by observing cities in excruciating detail, we're actually going to change the way they work. And so it's possible that the system may get weirder faster than we can understand it because every time we poke at it, we actually change what's happening. And um, you know, it's possible that we'll actually understand less of what's going on than we do now. Uh, if we persist in the, in the fallacy that everything can be quantified and characterized and, and um, every salient aspect of its existence in the world registered technically, um, I think we abrade most of the processes that certainly in my lifetime have produced the more meaningful emotions and have produced the more resonant and memorable states of being.